Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Gardener. So somebody had asked me a video of how to set up uh, a pup arrangement. Uh, now, not all of them are pups in this. Uh, some were stem cuttings. So I thought I will uh, collectively put them together uh, because any which ways they are going to be kept in indirect bright light uh, for a couple of months. Uh, so they would be doing quite well. Now, as I said, not all of them are pups. Some of them are stem cuttings. Uh, you can keep your pups and stem cuttings together, but there are certain things that you have to keep in mind, which we'll talk in the later part of the video. So this is one of the stem cutting that I had kept it for air rooting and once I started to notice that there are some uh, roots on it that's when I went ahead and added it to this arrangement never add stem cuttings without roots in this arrangement uh, because everyone has to be on the same page all of the pups all of the leaf propagation all of the cuttings should have uh, roots only then go ahead and make the arrangement now over here all of them have roots so i have gone ahead and very gently tucked it into the soil you do not need to put any pressure on it now over here as you can see these larger ones these are stem cuttings the rest of the smaller ones are leaf propagation now guys there is a very important thing that you need to understand uh, always wait for the pups to reach a decent size now the decent size can be anywhere from above two centimeters to three centimeters and once the mother leaf is dried out do not pull out the mother leaf when it is fresh you have to wait for the mother leaf to completely dry out for that matter even if the pup reaches above five centimeters it's absolutely okay but let the mother plant dry after that uh, these are stem cuttings as i said do not use stem cuttings that do not have roots you have to ensure that you first let the stem cuttings have aerial roots or the air roots and then go ahead and add with them because over here our pups already have roots and if the stem cutting does not have roots, we have to wait. The pups cannot wait because they already have roots. So we have to ensure that all of them are on the same page with roots. Because if you are going to wait after putting the stem cutting in the pot without roots, then you have to wait until they root. So as we are uncertain when the stem cuttings will root, because if there are no roots present on the stem cutting, we cannot water. Otherwise, there is a risk of stem rot. So ensure that your stem cutting have roots only then go ahead and mix them up with pups because the pups already have roots. If we are going to wait for the stem cutting to root and we are not going to water until then, then the pups that are present in the arrangement will start to get dehydrated because they require a little bit more watering. So you have to ensure that both the stem cuttings and the pups have roots. So to be on the safer side, ensure that whether it's a leaf propagation or whether it's a pup or whether it's a stem cutting, ensure that all of them have roots. Now, another very important thing, uh, apart from all of this stuff, as I said, that we are not going to be treating them like pups anymore. So we are going to be using the regular soil mix, which we use for our adult succulents, which is a mix of uh, aquarium sand and 20% of filtered garden soil. Now, there are certain things that you need to keep in mind. Ensure that your environment or your climate is comfortable. It's not too hot, not too cold. If it's too hot or if it's too cold, please do not do any repotting. Please do not do any propagation and please do not do any stem cutting. Also, apart from that, you have to ensure that all of the pups have reached a decent size of around two centimeters and above. If it is three centimeters, four centimeters, fantastic. But do not place something that is less than one centimeter. Uh, it's very important not to move any pups that are very small because then there is a risk of them getting rotted. A little bit of movement and they start to rot. So you have to be extremely careful. So these are all the things that you need to keep in mind. Uh, the most important being the environment. Ensure that your environment is comfortable. Only then go ahead and repot or move around your succulents. For this spot, I do not need to be worried because it's going to be kept in indirect bright light because they are still very small little pups. Probably early morning, one hour of direct sunlight, early morning, that is absolutely okay, but nothing after, uh, let's say 10 a.m. or not a long period of direct sunlight. Indirect bright light is going to work out really well because they're still very small. They can easily get dehydrated or they can easily get burnt. So ensure that your pups or stem cuttings have to be in indirect bright light. Watering, please do not do watering immediately. You have to wait for a couple of days. If you happen to see that there are wrinkles, then you can water after three or four days. But if you tend to see that your pups are very healthy, they are plump, then you can wait for at least a week or so. Again, the same rule applies. You have to wait for the soil to be completely bone dry. Only then go ahead and water. Because remember, these are pups. They can easily get overwatered if the water tends to stay moist for a longer period of time. So you have to ensure that the soil is well draining. The pot has a drain hole and wait for the soil to be completely bone dry. Even though they require 
a little bit more watering compared to the adult succulents but still the thumb rule remains the same the soil has to be completely bone dry before you go ahead and water it so guys that's all about it i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating